When you think of the best characters in Xenoblade, you might think of Melia, Shulk, Dunban, or even Eggil. You could name many great characters in this game, but there is one that is a cut above the rest. One whose mere presence requires your full attention. One that you pass by constantly in Colony 9 without realizing how integral to the world of Xenoblade he is. Kenny fucking Rohan. Betty is obsessed with Kenny, and for good reason. He's a pillar of his community. In the mysterious light quest chain, Kenny advises Shulk and friends on an extremely important issue plaguing the colony. Mechon? Who cares? Telethia? Whatever. Evil God? Zanza who? There's better shit to worry about. There's a fucking light in the water! What do we do, Kenny? I don't know. Doesn't really matter. I was also lazy and didn't want to play 20-something hours to just get footage of this quest. Uh, anyway. The affinity chart describes him as an artistic genius, and while I've never seen a piece of Kenny's art, I am positive that it's life-changing. I'm also going to mention that since we never see him work on anything, that must mean Kenny creates all his masterpieces while he's at home. He spends a whopping 18 hours relaxing all around town every day which means he is sleeping, eating, and creating works of art in that remaining six hour span. What a chad. We as mere mortals could only wish to be as productive as Kenny. On top of what I've already listed, Kenny is also a fantastic teacher. You have the option to make Desiree a sculptor and Jackson a poet through separate quest lines and Kenny becomes their teacher. Is there anything this man can't do? Why wasn't he there alongside us while we were in the final battle? Hell, why wasn't he the main character? I'd play a whole game revolving around Kenny. Play fucking Kenny Blade! The savior of the goddamn multiverse is here. When the inevitable Xenoblade gotcha game comes out, you know I'm gonna be rocking my six star Kenny Rohan in my party. Uh.